Hey, what's going on, guys? The Horror Man back, showing 10 of the rarest horror VHS big boxes in my collection. Media. So let me start out by saying these are not necessarily the 10 rarest horror VHS big boxes in my collection. They are just 10 of the rarest. These will also not be in any specific order. This is not a ranking video. I'm simply showing them. I've talked about most of these movies in past videos, so I'll present each tape, say a few words, and move on to the next. I've been wanting to do videos like this for a while, and definitely plan to do more soon. I'll probably film another video showing 10 of my rarest horror VHS slip releases, and another showing 10 of my rarest horror VHS clamshells. But this video is dedicated to 10 of my rarest horror VHS big boxes. I'll start with this one since it's a cut box, but it's so damn rare that I had to include it. It's the thriller video big box release of Alabama's Ghost, hosted by Elvira. This is arguably the rarest of all the thriller video Elvira big boxes, and Alabama's Ghost has never been released in any other form. There is no regular slip release or clamshell release, and the movie has never been released on DVD or Blu-ray. Next is the most recently released of the big boxes in this video. This was a Massacre video limited edition double feature of Black Devil Doll from Hell, and Tales from the Quadet Zone. As any horror VHS collector knows, any VHS releases of these two films are grail items. And so, having them together in one big box is even better. Not to mention, this one is actually signed by the director and the actress of both films. Here's the Continental Video big box release of Return of the Aliens Deadly Spawn, known more famously as simply The Deadly Spawn. I'm not sure exactly what it is about this one, since the movie did in fact get a DVD and Blu-ray release, but it's highly sought after by VHS collectors. I'm sure the alternate title, this awesome cover art, and the fact that the movie is amazing has something to do with it. Here's another Continental Big Box release. This one is Terror on Tape. Terror on Tape is another one of those movies lost on tape, fittingly enough. It's, in a way, a Terror in the Isles style documentary, and this big box is another highly sought after item for horror VHS collectors. You all probably remember the two genres most identifiable by VHS big boxes were horror and porn. Well, Cafe Flesh is a combination of both. This is literally a pornographic horror film, and I just realized I probably can't show the back. Café Flesh is from the same director as Dr. Caligari, and it stars a young Michelle Bauer. Next up is Alan Rudolph's Premonition. Now this is a movie that no one ever talks about. I did discuss it one time in a Rare Movies Not on DVD or Blu-ray video under the title Head. The DVD I showed in that video, of course, was an unofficial copy I had made myself because that was before I owned this big box. Premonition is still lost on VHS, and might be the most obscure film in this video. Microwave Massacre, on the other hand, is not that obscure. Mainly because Arrow released it on Blu-ray a few years back. This midnight video VHS big box, however, is extremely rare and highly sought after. This is one of those iconic covers that instantly brings me back to the video store rental days. Look at that. Classic. The movie also features Jackie Vernon, the voice of Frosty the Snowman, as the killer. Here's another iconic cover, which has a lot to do with the infamy of this Paragon big box release of Body Shop. Body Shop is also known as Dr. Gore, but I mean, come on, this is a great title with an even greater cover. It's another reminder of the video store heyday. And the awesome covers keep coming with Blood Frenzy. This is a VHS big box release from Hollywood Family Entertainment. Go figure. Blood Frenzy is another movie with no other release. 
The only way to own it is this big box, which is extremely rare. And finally, I'll close out the video with one of my favorite covers of all time, Blue Murder. This big box came from Video to Video Productions. I don't know much about that company, but I believe it's the only release I own from them. What's even more interesting about this is Blue Murder was a made-for-TV slasher film, making it one of the few made-for-TV horror movies to get a big box release, and probably the rarest among them. So there you have it guys, 10 of the rarest horror VHS big boxes in my collection. What do you think? Which is your favorite and why? Comment below and let me know. Check back soon to see some of my rarest horror VHS clamshells and some of my rarest horror VHS slip releases. Thanks for watching guys. Hit that thumbs up and be kind. Subscribe.